all charges against a former shock trauma security guard accused of impersonating a police officer and then raping a woman have been dropped. WJZ was inside that courtroom this afternoon. Rachel Menatoff live at the Maryland District Courthouse to explain. Rachel? Nicole and Denise, good evening. The state's attorney's office presented the case to the grand jury, which decided not to indict and to dismiss all eight charges. 50-year-old Richard Barnes is currently being held in protective custody at the city jail downtown. WJZ okay. spoke with his attorney, James Rhodes, outside the Maryland District Courthouse. He was on his way over to deliver the news to his client that all charges against him had been dropped. I don't believe the charges should have ever been brought. Barnes had been charged with rape and impersonating a police officer. According to the original charging documents, a 29-year-old woman alleged that on the night of June 1st, she had been sexually assaulted by a Lyft driver on her way over to a Charles Village pub. She went on to say that Barnes showed up to the scene, identified himself as a police officer, drove her to another location, and raped her. This clearly was a case where a young lady made some decisions that she later regretted, and for whatever reason, chose to make up a story about um, a rape and sexual. Uh, allegations that occur with two different men. Barnes' attorney says that his client's job at the University of Maryland, Baltimore, has since been terminated. The stigma of a sexual allegation such as this one, uh, it probably will carry for the rest of his life. Whether he's able to get other employment from this, I'm not sure. Attorney Rhodes says he will be discussing pursuing charges against the woman at the center of these allegations. Barnes should be released at some point this afternoon or at the very latest early tomorrow. His attorney tells us the reason he was placed in protective custody is because he was receiving threats because of the nature of the charges against him. We're live at Maryland District Court. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.